my fight against Bushesha, my second fight against Bushesha, I have to say, you know, that was, there's a feeling that I haven't had for, for quite a while, especially in Jiu-Jitsu. You know, all, all the build up to the fight, you know, I knew this was probably, you know, the most important fight in my whole career. I think to have, you know, to be able to fight and have my family beside you, it's, uh, you know, I have to say it's a great thing because first I get a lot of energy, you know, I, I get a lot of power by having the family beside me. You know, they really want me to succeed. It's, you know, it's like, you know, me, me winning, the, the whole family wins. I think every time a Gracie fights, he, re, you know, he, he, not re, he doesn't represent himself. He, he represents the whole family. It's a, it's a family commitment. You know, you want that person to succeed. You want that person to represent because that's what, you know, that's what you do in your whole life. You know, that's what the Gracie is me dedicating the whole life to the sport. <laughs> to have my cousin Hanzo beside me, it's, it's a very special thing. You know, Hanzo has been one of my main mentors for many, many years. I think, you know, he's been almost every single time in my corner, you know, every, every fight I had, MMA or Jiu Jitsu, no gi, you know, many, many fights. He was there beside me. He's a great coach. You know, we have a great relationship together, so that creates a bound when you're going to go fight and you really trust someone. So, you know, he's a person that I definitely hear it, that, yeah, you know, I feel very blessed to have him beside me, you know, to share the mat with him, to train with, me, with him, to learn from him. Ha 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 ha!
Tu mostra de luz em mim, ó. Não deixa eu botar pro meu no chão, malandro. Fica pensando nisso, nessa né, cara. You know, all, all the fights that I had before, you know, everything I had, you know, I create my legacy. And I think it, everything was in the line on this fight. If I would have lost that fight, you know, all, all the legacy that, you know, that I build, you know, I would, I would be seen as the second best. You know, I, would, I wouldn't be seen as, as the best fighter. Especially, you know, he just, you know, in titles, he matched my titles in the wars, you know, he's been winning everything, you know, he's been ahead of the game. And yeah, you know, it was a very important fight. So, you know, I concentrated a lot to that fight. I knew, you know, it's been like over a year, you know, like months and months that I had that fight in my mind. I knew, you know, that, you know, for me to finish my career, you know, I had to fight Bushesha. So, yeah, it was, you know, walking into that fight, you know, I was quite nervous, I have to say, you know, I know everybody think I don't get nervous at all, you know, I keep a poker face, I never let, you know, my feelings show in, you know, any situation when I'm fighting, you know, especially, you know, before and, and during the fight, and yeah, you know, all the build up to the fight, all the press that we did, it was huge, and I knew Bushesha, you know, is a great fighter, in bigger and stronger than, than me, I think, you know, about maybe you know over 10 kilos heavier so i knew there was a big fight very hard you know i knew that you know i'm going in for a, for a war so stepping into that fight was 15 minutes you know i set up a strategy that i'm gonna say you know i'm gonna you know I'm going to feel the, the first five minutes, I'm not going to attack much. I know he's very aggressive, very, you know, he's tough, very explosive. Segura, Roja, no kimono. Um minuto, hein? So... I, you know, I already accept the possibility. Even then, I see, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna respond in in his level if he comes very fast. I'm gonna try to slow him down to my pace. So I think, you know, in, that's exactly what happened. He came very aggressive, more than me, trying to take me down, and I was just defending, you know, trying to frustrate him a little bit. And suddenly, you know, he, he, I, I felt him getting more and more frustrated with his takedown attempts. Segura a gola, Roger. Do mesmo jeito. Dois e meio. And then when I looked at the clock, I said, I looked to say, you know, the five minutes mark. And then in my mind, I said, now I'm going to start uh, picking up the pace a bit more. I'm going to be more aggressive. That was exactly what happened. Suddenly, I'm, you know, I'm forcing him to step back more. I stopped stepping back. I'm, you know, I'm fighting more for my grips. I got some good grips. I was, you know, that, at that moment in my mind, I was like, should I try a takedown, you know, should I pull guard? Then I say, you know, he's been, you know, his size, I see, I'm going to have to, probably going to waste a bit of energy here taking him down. So, you know, I pull guard, you know, I like my close guard a lot, but I knew, you know, when I, when, when I try to pull him guard, he's going to bring that knee up and he's going to block the close guard and then I'm going to land in the, the position that I like. 
is you know the, the close guard but with the knee between my legs Which was exactly what happened in when I when I when I got into that position when I was able to pull guard, he slowed down a little bit and he didn't. I, I, I didn't see him, you know, him picking up the pain. You know, he trying to put pressure to pass the guard. He was very yeah, careful in that moment. You know, I felt him trying to hold me a little bit. He didn't feel very comfortable when I pull guard, so he tried to 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 play a position to you know to try to to position himself well. And then he sort of his, he pushed his weight a little bit too far for me. And then I land on his, you know, he, I land on his back. He just tried to stand up. And when he stood up, I had the control I had in my in his arm. He, he allowed me to, you know, to put the hooks in me straight away. I felt him a little bit lost. My hand got into deeper into his collar. And you know, just from there, I adjust, adjust. And when I start, you know, when I start putting pressure on, I knew the truth was very tight. And then, you know, he tapped. like you know it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to describe that the, the moment you know especially in my mind you know there was such a, a huge expectation into that fight you know it's fighting real you know all the build up to the fight you know the, the interviews we were like almost live in the tvs radio newspaper you know a lot so there was a lot of build up to that fight you know and, and to, to to come out victorious and you know and having that as my last fight of my career you know it's like you know, it's very, very difficult to, to describe the feeling, you know, it's like, all I can say is like perfection, you know, I was able to finish my career in, in, in a perfect way, you know, I take nothing for granted, you know, it's like a lot of hard work, had a great fight, yeah, I'm a very happy man now.